Welcome back to a Todd Disc here on SABC One. The great story of the legends continues on SABC Sport. Mambush Mudao, admired by many, but also feared by many. In his first season in top flight football, his talent was immediately noticeable. Apo at ala kona, mokshama goal, e kora makola zam tatambeke pezulu. I was uh, identified when we played for under Mamelodi Sundowns under 21 uh, 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 Toyota Championship. You know, we played against Kaiser Chiefs. You know, with Bank Aces, Bob Brian Baloi, Jerry Kosana, you know, Johannes Chilis, you know, and then we conquered them, we beat them. So after that, you know, uh, we get promoted from under 21 to uh, the senior team of Family Sundowns, 1989. Mambush was amongst the group of young players that came on the day, and when we tested them, uh, in all the three matches that they played on the day. In one match, they played three matches. Uh, that's when I actually came to admire this young fellow. A uh, lot of energy, strong. Never say, uh, I'm tired. Then we then decided, with the people that I was working with at that particular uh, time, to say, I think he can uh, stand uh, the test of time. But unfortunately, we couldn't play because we had these top strikers. Raf Mochafunya, Panyaza Chicha, you know, Cedric Nakungwa, you know, Mark Williams, you know. So we were like graduated. Nevanali problem is that the Jesse Queen is a Jesse Queen. Baba Raka is a Jesse Queen. I am 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 a Jesse Queen. I go just just to hear. Oh, what time is it? Oh, that's a position if it's no. Barley kit, man. No, why am I? Oh, that's a more. Mabush. At that particular time, I think he he was actually learning from the different type of strikers that we had, while was actually sitting outside, standing watching, and observing what was the senior players were doing. Because he actually came with a combination of both, with the, the speed, uh, the, the agility, he was, he was strong physically. We started to become you know, physically fit and then you know, get to challenge those uh, strikers, defenders, the late Iwin Kambule, you know, you know. And then from there, I was going to Ratana Maholosian, you know. That's where uh, I grab the chance to say, you know, when I go to Ratana Maulusi and it was on OK League, and then when I arrived there, you know, I became a top goal scorer and then I took it from number seven to position one, and it was promoted to, by then, NSL, you know. But Ratana Maulusi was on NSL, and then uh, Trot Moloto was our coach, you know, he came to Ratana Maulusi. It, it, it became so easy for him to actually start bringing the practices of what was happening at Sundowns into Ratana. In the dressing room, he was so loud in terms of singing before the team walks out of the, to the pitch. Very, very, very good singer, starting the songs himself. And then by then, when Ratana Mahalusiani became uh, sold, I came back to Mamdouli Sundowns. When Daniel Mambush Mudao came back to Sundowns' first team, that's when his legacy started. Year in and year out, what Alisa Gengo into Gokuba, Azuze, he awards the top goal scorer. Okanya, at who, Embagolum to Oifumene, Golden Boot, Galolonga Rotesha, and Medic Ella Laki Sundown, Slip Pumeli trophies. My first game that I played, I was, I was sitting on the bench. Pito Musimane, he started the game and then he scored. We played on Friday, I remember that game. And then uh, he was a top goal scorer of the PS of the NSL by then because it was the first league of the of the, of the season. It was on Friday. Then uh, you know we were playing Friday, Sunday, Wednesday, Friday. You know, yeah. So when we came to play on Sunday, uh, Jeff Butler was our coach, and then he put Peter Musiman on the bench. You know, so Peter was making a, jo a joke. You know, says, "Hey, hey, man, Bush, uh, they put a top goal scorer of of, <laughs> of the of the NSL on the bench." And they putting you inside, you know. And then that we were playing against, uh, if you remember, a real touch from Debe. Yeah. 
and then I managed to score three goals by then, and I became a top goal scorer from Pizzo, you know. So we're making a joke out of it. Even now, Pizzo is always saying, ah, Jesse number 13, because he, he remembers even those goals that I scored, you know. Mambosh had this niche of scoring goals. I'm sure you, you, you will have heard about the number of goals that you scored. At that particular time, I'm sure you scored about 28 goals in one season. You don't find those kind of strikers. Currently, when they talk about good strikers per season, they score 16, 14 goals. No, no, they, they could not come to the level of the Mambush at that particular time. Mambush will score 30-something. The least you could go, it was about maybe say 25, 24. But double the figures, definitely Mambush will bring it into the, into, into, into the team. As Mambush became a force to be reckoned with at Sundowns, he was also given an armband. What from funding? Kauke Ube captain. Uzbona Galisindu Kogba when Zwenga Donina. When you, when you choose a captain, it will be a person that you actually that you can actually entrust with the responsibility on and off the field. If you have some things that you'll actually want to discuss with him as a coach, uh, he'll be the first person. So at no at no stage, one will have actually doubted that Mambush could actually be a leader. Uh, one can say, I was a, I was born as a leader, and then that's where they made they made me a captain because even at the training grounds, you know. I'll always be on time, you know. I'll be the last one who goes away. I'll make sure that, you know, I encourage the players when they're down, you know. Yeah. One Sundowns team that many people remember during Mambosh's time at Sundowns is between 1997 and 2001. Bow! Bow winning to names your trophies and medals. My best memory. It was when we won the triple, you know. We make sure that, you know, uh, 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 we bring that trophy to Man Medi And then by then, as I'm saying that, you know, I need to say thank you for those uh, players that, you know, I played with. Because they're the ones who make sure that, you know what, uh, Man Medi Sundowns uh, win the, tri the, the triple, you know. And then one have to say thank you for the coaches that they coach us by then, you know. You know, the, uh, Jeff Butler, the late Jeff Butler, you know. Uh, Paul Doleza, you know, the late Ted Dumitru, you know. Yeah, those are the coaches that made Sundowns to be.